Hey guys, so, uh, this is gonna be my first video, well, technically, uh, and I just got For Honor, played a bit of the open beta, and I did not intend to join this Dominion match, I was gonna try out some settings first and outline those things, but, yeah, this is an accident, so I decided to start recording anyway and see how it goes. Might or might not use this footage, so I'm trying out the Warden. As you can see, I have not played at all since launch, and even in the beta, I played very little. So I'll suck, but hopefully this recording is smooth, and I'll be able to at least contribute a bit to helping the team. I won't be explaining much of the mechanics, so that will be more for a guide video. I'm just gonna try and do my best. Let's see. I like ganging up against people, but it's Dominion. What's he doing? I can't rest. Oh, it's a bot. I'm still not used to this uh, orange versus blue. I keep expecting to be blue. When, uh, uh, but yeah, that's how it is in this game. So okay, looks like we have three versus one here. Uh, I'll just help. He's got revenge mode. He blocked enough attacks and built it up, so now he's got all those buffs. But if you're a really good player and you're playing something like I don't know, um, a tankier class, revenge mode can really turn the tide of battle. Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? I, I told you. I thought I was blue, honestly. You lost some seed. Oh, yep, I suck. Big time. You lost zone A. Don't even know what I'm doing. So if someone reses me, if I okay, I go executed so I can't get rezzed. But you if you're not executed, and uh, executes are triggered if you kill someone with a heavy attack, which is right click, or any combo that includes right click or ends in a right click. So because I was executed, uh, I can't be rezzed. Now I'm just gonna find. We have this point. There are three points uh, to capture in Dominion, which is essentially uh, the 4v4 uh, player mode, uh, sorry, PvP mode, or it could be PvAI, depends. And there will be soldiers in it, fodder units rather. You captured zone A. So, points A, B, and C. Point A and C are contest zones where if you capture them, when you stand in them while they're captured, you can regen, re regen health, but not for point B, as far as I know. Okay, so now we're all chasing this dude here. The revenge mode. But he died anyway. I feel very dishonorable ganging out on people, but there was some honor in the beta. But uh, it's also I've heard since launch, there's no honor anymore. So people won't actually do much. They will go for kills, even if it means ganging up. Oh yeah, you might notice a, a bar on the left, a bottom left corner. So those will be your feats, or essentially the skills.
activate it by default. The buttons one, two, three, you and four. Zone C. When you f you get renowned for doing stuff like kills and all that. So when you fill up the bar once, the first time you fill it up with renown, you unlock your first ability or your first feat, and it depends on what class you are or what hero you are, what that feat does. So for example, mine would be body count, a passive. Killing soldiers, those fodder units grants me health and stamina. <coughs> I, I believe for each of the buttons, 1, 2, 3, and 4, there are variations. I think 3 variations of each. Uh, you have to unlock them though, so as you see, as you can see, I got my second feat now, which uh, I remember is an AOE buff. You activate it, buffs teammates and soldiers. Teammates, I think they do the more damage. Soldiers, they attack faster or move faster. They soldiers fight faster. Allies do more damage. Just killing a few fodder units. If there's one thing about this game that I want to complain about so far, I think abilities like that, that leave uh, an aura, they are a little bit bright, so they they can affect the game when you're in a huge fight and there are lots of auras going off. We're chasing this guy down. Oh, his friend came. So by default you press control to enter guard mode, which is your main combat mode. And you can press alternate to switch targets. So I'm gonna switch to this guy now. And do a few combos on him. Tactical retreat there. And revenge mode once again. He can res his friend. The resing is really fast in this game. So if you don't execute someone, you want to make sure that people can't res him. Oh yeah, and there's friendly fire. So don't don't be too careless with the sword swings. I'm I know I'm cleaving and hitting my friends, but you do less damage to your friendly teammates. Just be a, yeah, be a little bit careful about that. Oh, no. Uh, and that's an execute. Finish me with a right click. I am playing really badly, I can tell. Well, look, I'm all the way at the bottom. I've got the most takedowns, but lower score. So, I got a PTFO. I played mostly Kensei in the open beta. I did not manage to play the closed beta, I was too busy with work. The open beta was fun. Only played a bit, but yeah, definitely fun. But uh, I think I'll talk more about the other mechanics in the game, like in combat, when I'm not busy fighting. Oh! There are two here. The Peacekeeper, the Assassin class. You cast on his own Oh, <laughs> he did a range attack or something. I did not see that. Okay, so we contested the zone. We got the zone, and I can regen my health in it. It ticks. Now that's full. You can regen health in battle, but only that the bar that isn't full. Uh, well, only the bar that's... You got five bars in your health. Let's say, like, I'm on my last bar, and it's not full. That will regen, but only till that bar is full. So we won, I think. Yeah. Get rid of match. Uh, no thanks to me, I really didn't contribute much there, but... I think it's still GG. Alright, good game. And
get some loot there. So you can equip it immediately. Some XP, there's bonus XP for champion status. Uh, I don't want to continue the next match because I wasn't ready to play anyway, so I'm going to quit first. Uh, quit to world map, that's right. And yeah, maybe I'll continue the video. Actually, I'll just continue here. Uh, no, I changed my mind. I think I'll stop the video and check what the video quality was. S let's see whether it needs any tweaking. And then I might do a guide for newbies just like myself. Alright, thanks. If this video gets uploaded, cheers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.